Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can have multiple resolutions and frame rates within the same project. Now, whenever you start up an untitled project, it's going to have a default resolution and frame rate. So if you go up here to File, Project Settings, you see that the default here is 1080p at 24 frames per second. Now, if you were to drag some clips down here, that could change depending upon the frame rates and resolutions that you have on your clips. So in this case, I have clips at multiple frame rates and resolution. So I think this one is at 30 frames per second. It's 29.970. This one is at 24. I have these two at 60 frames per second. So I'm going to go ahead and drag it down here. Now, when I do that, DaVinci Resolve notices that there are different frame rates versus the project setting frame rates is going to ask if I want to change that. So in this case, I don't want to change it. And so now if I go back to my project settings, you could actually go here and then you'll notice 24 frames per second is now locked for this timeline frame rate. Whereas the resolution, you can still change that, but the frame rate is now locked. And so let's go ahead and cancel that. Now, if we were to go to edit this video, we go here, Let's just drag this down to our project timeline. And now if you go back to the media tab, you'll notice that there is now a timeline one. So if you right click on your mouse, you go to your timeline settings and you see that the resolution and frame rate matches what we had in our project settings, 1080p, 24 frames per second, and you can't change that. Okay, now if you go to custom settings, you can change the resolution, which is great, however, you still can't change the timeline frame rate. So how do we solve this problem? Well, you fix this by creating a new timeline with different resolutions or frame rates. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. So all you have to do is right click on your existing timeline and then create new timeline using selected clips now, once you do that, you can actually change things. So I'm going to call this 60 FPS and you go down here to use custom settings. And here on format, you could change the resolution to whatever is available here, or you can use a custom resolution as well. And most importantly, you could change the frame rate. So in this case, I want this to be a 60 frames per second timeline because some of my clips are at 60 frames per second. So now that we have our new timeline at 60 frames per second, you could double click on this. And now we have our new 60 frames per second timeline. And I could bring in the clips that are at 60 frames per second. And that is a really great thing to have because in this case, you have a lot of flexibility. So for example, if your project that you created initially was only at 24 frames per second, it really saves you the headache of having to create a new project and since you can create multiple timelines here, it's pretty much endless as to how many different settings you could set for the same project. And this just gives you so much power and flexibility. And I really enjoy the fact that DaVinci Resolve allows you to do that all within the same project. So that is how you could actually create multiple timelines with different resolutions and frame rates all within the same project. So if you actually had any thoughts on this, or if there's any other things that you wanted to know on DaVinci Resolve, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my DaVinci Resolve tutorial tips and tricks, I do have a playlist and I'll leave that in the description as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me, and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group, where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.